Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna do a um, cook with me. I'm going to be making lasagna and a little bit of like a life update while I'm cooking, talking to you guys. So let's get started. So today I'm gonna be making lasagna and hopefully show you guys how I do my lasagna. My lasagna is a little different from everybody else's. Like you guys are gonna see, I make it like a little Cubanized, but it's still original, like traditional Italian lasagna. And for dessert, I'm making cookies. Like I've never made like boxed cookies. Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. These kind of cookies, I've never made before in my life. It's gonna be like my first time doing it. My all time favorite pasta sauce, tomato sauce, whatever you wanna call it. It is mids. I don't know if they have it at your stores because it's so hard to find. I've only seen it in Publix. So I think it's only in Publix. So it's mids, true Sicilian pasta sauce, Italian sausage. They have other flavors too, um, with four cheese, meatless, but I like this one. Actually, I bought the wrong one. They, it's the meat one, not the Italian sausage, but it's still good either way. It has 32 ounces, comes with a lot, and it's so, so, so good. But I also bought this one from the Publix brand that is a meat flavored pasta sauce, just so I could drizzle the base. And then this is gonna be actually on the um, lasagna inside of it. So for me, I find that if I do not use this one or the meat one, because this one's Italian, I don't, I think it's gonna make a huge difference in your um, lasagna, and it's not gonna come out as good so that's definitely my secret in having a bomb lasagna i got my ricotta cheese i got my ingredients i got garlic powder i got basil leaves i have black pepper i have salt i have my cheeses here i decided to get mozzarella and mexican style but you can put whatever cheese you want and i do not boil no i do not have time for boiling <laughs> So I buy the oven ready lasagna. This is what kills that extra time that you have to go through. So that's why this is a very, very easy lasagna. A pan, cause we did not have time to be doing dishes. And obviously you're gonna need um, ground beef. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is wash my hands cause we do not wanna cook with nasty hands. I'm gonna start with my ricotta cheese. So, yeah, I didn't upload after the, which was my last video. I think my last video was the, the how to whiten your teeth video. I took a little break because I was going through some personal things. Maybe in the future when I feel fine with it, I'm going to share with you guys. But yeah, so I took a little break and there was a lot of things going on in the family. Unfortunately, you know, certain family uh, family member passed away so you know i was spending time with my family and that's why i hadn't been on but i am back and better than ever also when you get the big size thing obviously we're not going to use this whole tub so you want to get half of it to put inside of a clean bowl and you're going to go ahead and put that in there i'm going to show you guys now because i know the camera is panned to my face which is makeup free so you guys are seeing me and all my vul vulnerability <laughs> i only have mascara on as you guys can see because it i always feel like if you don't wear makeup mascara is going to definitely like pop your eyes out so our ricotta cheese is in here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to mix it so um yeah, like I said, I'm definitely back. I'm not going I'm not going to go anywhere. And I'm going to be consistent and I'm going to upload. I hope you guys watched my latest video on how to grow your Instagram because those tips really helped me grow my Instagram. I take my own advice. And when I give advice is that I've actually taken my own advice or that something that I've been through. I'm not just going to go ahead and give you guys like random advice. I am not like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add garlic powder in it that's like dif different because people usually just go ahead and add salt and pepper and that's it but i want to go ahead and add garlic to it to give it like a nice flavor i eyeball it but it's usually like half a teaspoon so i'm gonna add, also add basil leaves 
This is also half of a teaspoon, but I eyeball it to whatever I think is best. If you guys hear some shaking in the background, it's my dog just shaking himself. And then black pepper. Once again, I eyeball it because I've been making this forever, so I already know. It's always a hit. And you want to put um, some salt in it. Salt, I usually put in my hand as so. And it's all hunter out. Eyeballing, as you can see. Put it in because ricotta cheese is very, very, very hard to pick up flavor for some reason. So you want to put lots of flavor you don't want to have a bland ricotta cheese so this is how it looks and i'm going to go ahead and blend it so like i was saying i am definitely back i've said that already like three times i'm going to be uploading um tons of content for you guys um videos about advice i have my next video is going to be this one that you guys are going to be watching now and then after after this one, I believe it's going to be one on exposing scammers. But my next video is exposing scammers. I cannot stand scammers. So you guys are going to see that. And it has um, evidence of the scamming and the scammers. But <clears throat> so now that everything is mixed together, I go ahead and I usually get like another spoon that I'm not going to dip back inside. We don't want to do that we're not double dipping here and try it it's just cheese you know it is what it is i like smelling my stuff first to make sure it has that good you know scent of these amazing condiments it needs a little more salt so i'm gonna add a tiny bit more of salt and then um i'm gonna add a little more of garlic powder actually no basil leaves now that this is said and done and we've mixed this we could go ahead and add the final ingredient that goes in there which is an egg that's why i like to go ahead and try it first without the egg because we're not trying to get salmonella or any sickness crack it open and you're gonna go ahead and pop it right in there mix it all together Okay, we're gonna set this aside now we're gonna go ahead and season the meat for the meat I do a different kind of seasoning I like to do it like the Cuban way that's why I say like my recipe is a little Cubanized I'm gonna turn on the stove to a five which is like a medium I'm gonna put it up a little to a six so I have my pan right here I'm gonna put it right here before I go over there the skillet I'm gonna take my stuff for seasoning the meat, I'm gonna go ahead and use one lime. I'm gonna use, this is so Cuban. And you know, Islanders know this. Maggi, which is caldo sabor a res, which is beef flavored bouillon. So I'm gonna use one. Oh, I only had one left, but I have more in there, so that's fine. I'm gonna use one whole one. I'm gonna go ahead and use vinegar, apple cider vinegar. I know some people are like, what? But trust me on this, it's gonna taste so good. Um, apple cider vinegar has a ton of benefits. I'm sure you guys know that, it's amazing for everything. I'm gonna use um, Laurie seasoned salt. I've actually only used this twice before. I always hear people um, rave about this. It doesn't have any MSG, which is not no bueno. So it's my third time trying it. We're gonna go ahead and open up our little meat here. I like to use all natural, extra lean ground beef. Everything around is thawed out except this. So I'm doing it myself with a spoon. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in the pan, in the stove top to see if it melts because I'm tired. I'm tired of beating this thing. <laughs> so just before I continue, I always go ahead and cook this first and then I season it. I know that's like a huge difference. Some people don't do that. I like to do that first. So while it sits there, I'm going to go ahead and just talk to you guys. I see everything in a positive light and I'm very, very thankful and I'm very blessed to be here alive, you know, healthy, have my daughter, have my family. I'm very, very thankful. Like going through certain things 
this year has made me really humble myself. I've always been humble, but sometimes I got braggy. So <laughs> it made me really humble myself and really look at life in a way that I need to stop stressing. And I'm a firm believer I'm of, of Christ and just put everything in his hands and stop stressing and see things that are going to work out. And I also have a video coming up that I'm not too sure if I want to do it because I was going to do, I, I can't even say it because legally I, I, I can't say it because of something that I'm doing, but it was how I used to work in a cult. I was not part of the cult, but <laughs> it's just weird. I'll eventually probably put that out there because, you know, I don't want to leave you guys hanging. So, um, yeah, but I'm excited about all of the wonderful new things that are coming up now in life and all these amazing opportunities. So, um, and I was also thinking of going back into modeling, but I think that's too much on my plate and I want to focus on the main things, but I, it would be nice if we could do a little bit of modeling here and there, but I'm going to see how I manage that. For those of you who didn't know, I used to be a model, but yep. So let's see. Ooh, the meat is burning up. Not burning up, but I mean, it's cooking. <laughs> I feel like this is honestly a very good year. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm covering this, and break this through. And I'm gonna put the heat on seven, which is like a little bit of like medium high. And it's gonna really help it cook through because you really wanna cook your meat all the way even though you're going to put it in the oven this time you want to go ahead and you want to put your oven on 350 degrees i'm going to preheat that bad boy let me make sure i don't have anything in here i had this in there i start first by putting in the vinegar i put two cups in so we're going to get two cups two little caps not cups i'm going to put it all over and it smells so good. We are gonna cut this bad boy in half because we do not need the whole thing. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. I cannot stand pants that do not have real pockets. Here I am thinking that this is a legit pocket and it is not. Okay, we're just gonna put this in here. So we're gonna go ahead now and we're gonna add a bit of Lori's seasoned salt. Eyeball it. You wanna get at least this would be a spoon because remember you're not adding salt you do want to go ahead and skip the lorry salt you could go ahead and add either sea salt or um regular salt or if you want to go and not put salt just skip this and put your seasoned salt of choice so i'm going to go ahead and add my maggie cube i'm going to use a whole cube yummy 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 and here it is it is so good. I'm gonna start with this one first. We're gonna pour this inside. You wanna make an even layer because you want that lasagna to be nice and juicy. So eyeball it until you go ahead and you cover the whole pan basically. This is gonna be so good, I'm so excited. So this is how it should look. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna open your oven ready lasagna. It comes with 16, um, lasagna um layers <laughs> that's what they're called but just to be on the safe side i would buy two i not one package so we're gonna go ahead and lay these flat as like this not like this but like this i'm gonna lay it flat 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 so you want it to look like this i hope you guys could see as flat as possible you're gonna lay it down now, when you have laid down your three main ones, it's time to open the bad boy right here. The star of the show. I'm gonna get my golden spoon. You're gonna get a spoon for each item because like I said, cross-contamination is not my thing. First, we're gonna put some tomato sauce. Oh, it's so good. It has to look like this. Hopefully you guys can see. And I'm gonna go ahead now and start layering this. I'm gonna put some ground beef on it. 
Then after the ground beef, you're gonna go ahead and put the ricotta cheese on top. And then now we're gonna open our cheese. You could use mozzarella, you could use the Mexican jack, the Mexican cheddar jack, the Mexican jack, what am I saying? Okay, so this is how it should look. It smells delicious. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it in the oven and then you get one last lasagna layer. I mean, like, I don't know what you wanna do with that. <laughs> you can go ahead and save it for the next one. You could cover it with foil, but I don't want, I don't like doing that. So you're gonna stick it in the oven for 25 minutes. Depends on how high you put it and how your oven works, 25 to 30 minutes. So I put it on the bottom there you go and i'll show you guys when it's ready meanwhile we do the most fun part cleaning <laughs> so now we're doing the cookies which i'm excited about it's my first time ever in the world making cookies out of like these little things i always make it from scratch but the reason why i never use this because i hear all the horror stories about people like eating it and getting sick and all that but it's because they eat it raw for some reason. I don't know why would you would do that, but I got my pan right here. I don't have a cookie sheet, so I'm using whatever I have. I don't know, I feel like this video is very informal. Is this me talking to you guys, like I feel like one-on-one. -on -one. So I feel like I don't have to like with my other videos be so like professional. But I like this because I feel like we get to know each other like a little more, You get, you guys get to know me that i'm like i'm i'm like a very i like to say that i'm funny i'm a jokester i literally like laugh at everything literally always laughing like my family knows that i'm always laughing at everything okay i don't know how this is gonna work out i think i put this maybe a little too far apart okay there you go i don't know if this cookie's gonna look good or not like that should expand right here if they touch each other so be it this is how the cookies look like. I don't want to like tilt it too much because then they're going to slide on each other. So I pop my cookies in the oven. They should be done by 5.09. That is exactly 14 minutes. I'm trying to cook it for the longest. You know, salmonella free, all that junk. The lasagna is smelling so good right now. I wish you guys could like smell it. It's so delicious. It smells delicious and I cannot wait to be a fatty and eat it. <laughs> the cookies and the lasagna are finally done i was like literally dying here of hunger you know i'm happy it looks good look 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 at that goodness it smells good mm. good. this is how our lasagna looks i don't want to spill it but it is so tasty I'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece. The goodness. Ooh. Look, you guys. That is so delicious. And here we go. We're gonna try our delicious food. It's so hot. Mmm. <laughs> this recipe is a recipe you guys definitely have to try. It's quick, it's fast, it's delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this because I have. And have a beautiful nice day. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below, and make sure you subscribe once again. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.